Hello everyone and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video. Today's will be the first of a fair few where we build in the same way, putting all of our contraptions into the same area under one build. And that build is going to be a warehouse and this is the beginning of that warehouse. Now I've got to say it, the blocks in this game definitely lend themselves to an industrial sort of warehouse theme which makes this you know, very easy and he's sort of led naturally in that direction but it's been a lot of fun just to put this little bit here together and this is the corner of our warehouse so in future videos as we do more contraptions we'll be expanding on this build and tying those things into it so we have the bottom floor down here and we've got the top floor up there and there's this little staircase that goes off to the side to get there but if you feel like taking the fancy way up then you just got to hit this switch over here and bam, out of the wall pops a spiral staircase. It looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? So we want to watch that action again. Bam, there you go. Folds up into a flat wall. And bam, <laughs> it opens up again. It is seriously cool. And best of all, you can actually walk up this thing. It isn't just for looks. You can use it to get all the way to the top here. Now, I don't have a button or anything to turn it off again when you're up here. Uh, but that's not really important, of course. You could wire it up differently if you wanted to build this yourself. Now, for those of you that watch the live stream, you'll have seen what happens when we build this thing a lot bigger. It can be a little bit rickety and unstable, but now that I've put this frame around the outside here, this thing is sort of held in place. So if you were to build one of these out in the open a lot taller, as you open it up, it sort of wobbles and leans around the place, but this actually keeps it in line extremely well. So let's watch it. A couple more times because that animation is absolutely fantastic. It looks so cool, doesn't it? <laughs> and I love it. And you can make it go taller and taller. Now, you probably want to know how this thing works. Let's close it up. Let's hit the button down below because that's going to open this little door into our room that has the uh, controls for this thing right here. And you need multiple controllers. So our button is actually hooked up to three of those controllers. As you can see, they point over there. That's the uh, pinkish lines. And then the purple lines port point to all of the bearings like this. So I think we have, is it 23? You can see we've got 10 here, then another 10, then three at the top. So there are 23 bearings and each of them rotate by 15. Now one of the things you've got to consider when making this staircase is that each bearing is attached to the block below it, which means when this one rotates 15, it's also rotating everything above it by 15 as well. So it makes it very convenient when you want to put this thing together. Um, as you can see here, all you need to do is set every individual rotation to 15 and that's it. And that's the same for all of these boxes. So I'll open them up. You can see this one has also got 10 of them set to 15. And then this one, oh no, this one over here has the additional three and the fourth box is actually just to open the door um, behind us. This one right here because it's hooked up to that one as you can see. So that's probably giving you a pretty good idea of how to build this. But, of course, we're going to do a tutorial. I will show you how to do it step by step. By the way, today is the 20th, and that means that the game has been released in early access form on Steam. So if you're interested in the game, you know where to go. Go to Steam, search up Scrap Mechanic, and you can find it there. And uh, this is what we made in the live stream. And I wanted to show you this because there's a couple of cool things as to how it works. First of all, this is actually half the distance of the one that I showed you a moment ago. So you can make one like this. And I'm not sure which one I think looks better. Uh, but that is, you know, another way to build the same thing, basically. Now, something to point out here. I was talking about it in the previous part of the video that it was a lot more rickety, I think was the word that I used. You know, it wobbles about a bit, basically. And where we had built a two wide one with a frame all the way around it, that actually held it in place extremely well. This one right here, not quite the same deal. And because of that, we got sort of like a little pivot in the hole up the top. So I'm going to go up there and show you that. And then we're going to remove it and see what it's like without it. And then after that, we can start the tutorial. So let's hop up onto this. Then we jump and place the lift in the new place. Hope it doesn't push us off. Sometimes when you go up on the lift, it pushes you off to the side which is never good. And the reason we haven't used a block here is because that's going to rotate. So we've used a circular um, thing, a circular block, I guess you could say. And that one's going to roll down the stairs there. There we go. So now that's not going to be holding that in place. This thing should sort of, there you go, wail all over the place, basically. It's quite funny, actually, to watch it do that. Very cool. Anyway, let's move on to the tutorial. So you're going to need like a platform, as always, to build this on. 
and then you're going to start off with a central block. Why do I not have wood selected? Let's put that down there. And this is our central block. We're going to go off to the side in six blocks. That is six right there, I think. Now you could go further, and another thing you could also do is add maybe a couple of blocks at the back like that. Um, if we expand this thing over, you'll see that there's a gap at the edge. So if you were to have a couple of blocks back on each one of these, you could remove that gap. So that's an option for you to do if you want to. But remember, you've always got to attach your blocks to the ones that's part of um, that step on the staircase, right? So when we're building the next one, so if you attach your pivot here and then you put your blocks on like this and then you say, hey, I want that to be a little bit longer and you do it like this, you've now attached those blocks there to this part of the structure. It's all about where you start placing the blocks. So when you come over here and you're like, I want to add a little ledge like that, make sure you're clicking on these blocks and not the ones down below. So that would be invalid. That would connect it to the ones down below. Uh, pointing at this block, it would connect it to that bit right there. So that's really important because um, you want each thing to be individually attached to the bearing. And this is literally it. I mean, you can suss it out just by seeing what I've done and shown you in the video already, but I did want to give you a little bit of an example. Um, you can also extend this on the other side. Now, if you choose to extend it, once again, these are the kind of mistakes I was making when building it. You can drag out like that when you do the next one. Make sure you're clicking on that over there. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a very quick demonstration. So let's add one more on top like this. Drag it over, put two blocks on the back of that, and now you need to hook it up to a controller. Now, because there's no timing involved, it makes setting up the controllers really easy. Of course, these need to be attached to the same structure, and we're just going to like drag them over. So let's say we have like 30 of these. We'll pretend that we've connected 10 to each of these. You know, you just drag them to the controllers one by one, and then in each of those controllers, you set the first one to 15, and I've done it to 30 by mistake. Uh, there we go. 15 on this one as well, and the last one's got two. So we're going to put 15 and 15, and they will all rotate 15. Like I said earlier, you know, when you rotate the bottom one, you rotate everything above it as well. So now we just need an input. We'll put this thing here. We'll wire it up to each of our controllers, which, of course, we'd only need one, but for the sake of demonstration, that's how you hook it up to multiple controllers. Press the button right there, and out expands our staircase. And I've got to say, it looks really nice. I might change the one that we have um, in our other world because it looks really good when you've got uh, the extra blocks back there so there's no gap. Let's do that again. Something went wrong. Did I place a block incorrectly there? Even though I was just saying, it is so easy to do, believe me. There you go. It looks like one there wasn't correctly attached. So we'll put those in, we'll put those in, and we've accidentally put more in. <laughs> okay, and now it should be good. Yes, there we go. No gaps. Doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? That's how you build the staircase. So this frame around the outside will help hold your staircase into position. That's the last thing really that I want to mention. If it's out in the open, you may need to put one of these down um, on the top of it where the pivot is or directly above it and sort of attach a ring of blocks around it. Now that, that ring of blocks won't be attached to the pivot, it will be attached to another structure that will hold it in place. And that's how I did it in the other world. So hopefully... Um, you'll be able to set this up for yourself. It is extremely cool. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like. As always, thank you for all of the support. And uh, be sure to check out the Scrap Mechanic playlist for some more tutorials down there in the description box. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.